There is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. The U.S. military is now detecting more items in the sky after changing radar settings in the wake of the Chinese spy balloon. The military needs to have a plan to not only determine uh, what's out there, but determine the dangers that go with it. Is this sort of bigger aperture picking up lots of stuff that has essentially been forgiven, sort of you know, around in the skies, whatever else it is, because it didn't pose a threat? Or is it part of something organized to, uh, for whatever surveillance? These ide unidentified aerial phenomena have been reported for many years without explanation or deep examination by the government. President Biden has changed all that. We are finally trying to understand them better. It is the responsibility of the Department of Defense to be honest with the American public and to use ARO, which has been established to deal with the UAP and UFO issue, to come forward and present the truth to the American public. Jeremy Corbell is a documentary filmmaker. What was splashed? splashed. Mark Marion Range. He has released several images of UFOs, some of which have been verified by the U.S. government. Civil society groups like the Mutual UFO Network, uh, Mr. Corbell and others have been collecting data on this issue for years. Most recently, he released this image, which he claims shows the first UFO filmed by the U.S. military in a conflict zone. What you see in this image is you see the first ever released U.S. military filmed UFO over a conflict zone that is officially designated UFO or UAP, Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, that is actively being investigated. The Department of Defense and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence declined to comment on this image. CNN has not independently verified its authenticity. And it's called the Mosul Orb. Mosul, Iraq. Y correct, yeah, this is an image taken over northern Iraq. It's military filmed and it's part of active UFO investigations. The one difference is that it's over a conflict zone, which everybody should really think about that the implications of what that means. A recent report to Congress revealed the government cannot explain 171 of the UAPs reported to the military. This is uncharted territory. We are topographers that are kind of mapping out a new territory. A lot of things are being learned and understood. This UFO phenomenon that they call UAP, this is now being destigmatized. So the reporting is getting better.